We'll take care of the legalities in the morning. All right, you want to take care of Mr. Sinclair's paperwork? I'll sign out of here. Sure thing, Detective. You look nice. Oh, thanks. I'm really sorry that Lucinda interrupted your evening. Yeah, well, you know, it's not the first time that's happened. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of glad Lucinda called. I was over at the mayor's party command performance. Oh, wow. Poor you. Mansion, whining, dancing. Yeah, the mansion was cold, the wine was cheap, and since I went stag. No dancing. How about you? Uh, you know, working, but, you know, my ship's up, so I'm just gonna... Go yeah, on. I heard, so, yeah. Okay, then I guess you're tired. Yeah, yeah, I guess okay. so. Yeah. Good night. Hey, you know what, wait up. Yeah? Is it too late for a drink? <laughs> no, it's never too late for a drink. Christmas was great. Casey really loved having you there. It was good for me, too. It almost felt normal. Hey. Yeah? There is something that I need to know about when we split up. Sure, yeah. Whatever you need to know, I'll tell you. How exactly did we let this happen? I'm so sorry. I don't need any more apologies. I've got enough to hold me. Then what? A reason. <sighs> um, I, I am a wife and a mom and a cop. And that's what I was. And I didn't think I would ever be anything more than that. And then this guy Doc comes into my life and he wants someone who didn't seem to be any of those things. And, Go ahead. I need to hear this. When Doc first came on to me, I just, I just thought it was funny. I mean, he thought that I was sexy, and 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 I just thought that he was silly. But then it it just got to the point where I wanted to laugh with him, and I wanted to flirt with him. And I wanted to... Hey, you know what? I, I know all that stuff. Maybe you didn't do anything to deserve this. Yeah, well... Dad. District attorney. Husband. I found myself looking in the mirror and saying, well, where did all those gray hairs come from? When did I become a version of my dad? When did I start looking at you as something that would always be there instead of something that I could not bear to lose. I'm still here. Well, I can't go through it again. I mean, I can never go through that again. I don't think I 